I've been playing around with this app, No Video sRGB, and it's very interesting. And I would like to know um, if I can take advantage of this app for the color banding. So, for example, uh, you know, we're trying to figure this out together. Uh, if I figure it out, I will post a video explaining. For now, I'm just experimenting with it. So what this app can do is basically, well, you can download an ICC profile, which I'm not going to do yet. Uh, but what you can do is you can convert to VD2020, uh, DCI-P3, Adobe RGB. So basically on SDR, you have your video on Rec. 709 and this app can convert the color space. So not only that, I am not very interested in that because actually the TV does a much better job with the color gamut on native than what this can do. For example, I'm going to show you here. If I select P3, uh, well, basically, you know, what I'm interested in about this app more than this is dithering because this is using uh, the NVIDIA GPU and the NVIDIA drivers uh, to add uh, dithering. So dithering eliminates that, basically. That's color banding, okay? So dithering is going to smooth out that color banding okay and I'm gonna show you that so if I select P3 so we're going to convert that SDR uh, color space which is Rec. 709 to the CIP3 here and we're going to select enable dithering which is what I like what I want to figure out how to use and we're going to select uh, you know, this is the default spatial dynamic I've been playing around with different values here so we select OK, and the only thing we have to do is to click here, clamped, and it's going to change. So, for example, if we take a look at this, you see how we are losing details, actually. We are losing details on that flower. So let me describe it to you, because it's difficult to, to show. So what is happening here is I am losing details. Uh, on the flower is smoothing out it's like a Vaseline is smoothing out the the details on the flower with that dithering uh, so I don't like that because we are actually losing details and it's oversaturating the red actually so it is not working better than color gamut on native so, so on off on off. You see how we lose details? On, off, on, off. So we are losing details. But what I like about this, and I wish I could use that only, and I cannot. If I don't convert the color space, I cannot use the app. So, but I, what I would like to use it is for this color banding. Because let me show you how that improves when I turn it on, actually. So if I turn it on, see how that color banding improves? And it becomes uh, it's, it's smooth out, that color banding. Of course, this is so bad that it's not going to make it perfect. But it is better. Definitely better. So let me show you how much better job the TV does with color gamut on native much better job than this app and this is what we are facing when we have you know auto HDR when we try auto HDR versus HLG or a conversion using an app like this versus what the TV can do the TV is always gonna do a better job it's always gonna do a better job than any of these apps can do so let's try color gamut on native you see see the detail is preserved so it is pushing the reds it is pushing red but you see the detail is preserved see so let's compare that for example let me see how can I 
So let's leave it on Autumn. Let's compare that, for example, with what this app is doing. So let's hit here on the app. So the app, if I can describe it to you, with the app, I am losing this. It's like clipping the colors here. It's basically like a Vaseline. See? It's difficult to show that on a camera. But I can tell you for sure that TV is doing a much better job with native. Basically, if I use native, it's a much, much better job because I still... I don't know if, if you can see that on the video, but I can still retain these two small fine details on the flower. And the, the imperfections, the texture of the flower is not affected at all with that native. So definitely this app, at least of, as far as I can see, is not going to do a better job in converting the color space. But it is allowing uh, dithering which is a smoothing out the color banding, which is a good thing that I would like to use. But on the description, description of this app, and like I said, somebody on the comments told me about this app. And on the description, he also explained me, and on the description of this app says that on the NVIDIA control panel, if we change this from full to limited, NVIDIA is actually going to do dithering and it's going to make the color banding uh, less noticeable. Let's take a look at it. It is actually true. <laughs> and it is actually, uh, it is noticeable. So I don't know if you remember that color banding, it was worse. It is noticeable. Now, always this is a problem of a bad signal, a bad video, a low quality video. And the reason why this video is looking so bad is because this is the SDR version of the original HLG video. So this video is originally on HLG and it can be displayed on any SDR display. But if you do that, this happens. So any HLG original video that you display on an SDR display, so basically you do that by turning off HDR from Windows. If you do that, you're going to get less quality than that if you just record a video originally on SDR. So this happens. And uh, I showed on, on that comparison video, this is the same video that I compare original HLG versus SDR to HLG conversion and I was saying well actually HLG is giving me color banding because 8 bits and that's not the problem actually the color banding was there already so HLG is not making it worse so the color banding is already there if I use HLG the color banding still still uh, is there so I was uh, maybe I was not wrong about that so HLG over 8-bit signal is not ideal but the color banding was there already so let me know if you know more about this app and if it's useful at all or if you use it yourself or if you have you know if you've download an ACC profile um, let me know how that works uh, we're trying to, I'm trying to learn so I can share uh, useful information. If you know, I would tell everybody and you know, figure it out for myself. And I'm going to share that so we can figure this out together and we can all have a better experience.